Hey everybody, wanted to show another Blender quick tip video about an add-on called Simply Micromesh and how to add your own custom micromeshes into the Simply Micromesh add-on. Now technically this is a slight hack, uh, but if you have a mesh that you like to use a lot and you don't want to keep having to import it and use it in your scene, then this should work just fine for you. Now disclaimer, if you ever remove Simply Micromesh, um, you're going to lose this. So it'd be good for you to back up the copy of the mesh that you want, and you're going to have to re-add it every time you add a new version of Simply Micromesh. And the developer is pretty friendly, so if on the Discord page you have something you want him to add, you can always message him and ask him to add whatever mesh you have that you'd like to see. So all things considered, though, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so I've made this like computer chip style thing and this is just a quick workflow of how to get the thing in to the add-on. So tip number one is you need to make the item fairly small. So if we go to the item properties, this is the properties of the item currently. I think this is actually just slightly too big. Um, we'll go to my other blender instance and I've got it down to these dimensions here. So um, I'll have to scale mine down just a little bit more in this just to show in the video. So let's just go ahead and scale that down. Something like that. We'll apply the scale. Because it's a micro mesh, it's going to be a very small object. And then he ends up scaling um, to fit in the add on. Now, the other tip is so if you go into orthographic side view or front view, you want to make sure that your mesh is sitting exactly on top of the XY origin plane because it's going to sit exactly on the face that you want. Now you can lower it down a little bit if you want, but if you have bevels or anything, they're going to protrude through the face of the object you're applying the micro mesh to. So just another small tip to help out with that. Now you're also going to need to make a picture PNG. So get your camera lined up and um, I already got a rendered image for this saved here. And you want the render settings to be set to 200 by 200 pixels. And the other setting that you want to check is the transparent setting. It's under the film menu in the render engine. And what this does is it removes the background layer when you render. So once you've got your render made of your object, um, I applied the material that's used with all the micro meshes. It's just called the micro mesh material. And you can steal it off of any of the micro meshes. Um, just to make them all look the same in the pictures. So once you get that done, um, go ahead and save your file and name your object the latest name of whatever object is last in the list. So on this list here, we we had MM129, I think was the last one. And I added in my own MM30, 130, and then I'm adding this MM131. So you're going to have to navigate in order to get to this blend file. This is all the micro meshes that he has. Um, in his project. And in order to get into this, all you have to do is, I'm on Windows, but the structure is fairly similar for Mac. You need, you need to get into where Blender is storing um, the install information. So for Windows, it's in the app data roaming under Blender Foundation, and then Blender, the version you're using. Go to the scripts folder, add-ons, and then simply micro mesh. And this is where you're going to store your icon. So I have the icon that I want to store. I'm going to go ahead and put that here right now. Just drag and drop it right in. And it'll have a transparent background for when it loads. So that part's done. And you go up one folder onto the where the file is for the template. So in Simply Micromesh, you should have a template folder. And you're just going to go ahead and open up this blend file. And you're going to get basically this setup. Now notice the origin is actually way up here. So he's got all the meshes down really far and they're all extremely small. So you're going to go to file and append and you'll go to your blend file where your mesh is and append that mesh in here. And it's going to probably show up wherever the 3D cursor is. So I just click on one of these micro meshes that are already existing, then hit the numpad period key and it takes you down to where you need to be. And then I just move the three cursor down along the line in the order just to keep them all in the same location, really. And then move your object in and make sure it's got the naming structure that falls in line 
with the next name and then just go ahead and save this and close it out and you're going to save um, your obviously your other micro mesh if you haven't already and close that out and then you're just going to go ahead and open blender again okay so with blender open go ahead and go to your end panel and click on the micro mesh make sure you click on your object click on add mesh and go ahead and click here and let it scroll down and there's our new latest and greatest micro mesh now if I were to go control 3 and apply my modifier and we'll stop that and start it up again there's all our micro meshes on our object and you can play with the item as much as you'd like right change the scale change the randomness rotation it's pretty slick though isn't it so now having said all this this is just a hack to get it into the app um, you can always just use something as a micro mesh template anyways so you know if I were to add in um, let's just go ahead and add in a torus and you can use this as a micro mesh and obviously this looks terrible well, what you've done is you just applied this object as a micro mesh to your previous object so if you scale it down 0.001, well, maybe, not, maybe not that small, 0.01, you know, there's your micro mesh of whatever object you want. That's just the quick and dirty to grab anything you want in your scene. It just doesn't remember or save these. So the little hack method that I posted is the way to get them in. And he's got code that basically goes and scrolls through all the micro mesh objects and it'll just add it as long as you keep it with the same number. So I hope this video helps and uh, let's see what you guys create. Thanks.